Howdy! <laughs> Scott Grove here. Uh, just doing some reviews on some of my guitars. Um, you guys take them at face value. Uh, these are my opinions on guitars that I personally own and have bought. I don't work at a music store or anything. I'm just a dude uh, giving reviews and telling you what I think. Um, today's offering is um, a split decision, but a very good one, oddly enough. I did not expect this. Okay, what we have is the Washburn. Okay, uh, it's called the PS11E. Stands for Paul Stanley. That's right. That's why you see the star. It's an acoustic electric. Okay, and of course, you get this. Uh, Paul Stanley's favorite friend, only while he wears makeup, is his own reflection. <laughs> so every guitar that he puts out has this picture on it. It seems. Um, odd thing about this, uh, I cannot find, other than my Martin, and this one equals it, easy, a uh, guitar that sounds better plugged in. Acoustically, nah. But plugged up, uh, for some reason, this thing is magic. Okay, so we have your battery, your XLR, and your quarter inch jack, all right there. Everything nice and easy to get to. Uh, this, um... Washburn system that they have right here is beautiful. I don't know what they did to it. Um, power for the tuner. Dun, 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 dun. It'll read out whatever string number. So string six, string five, it won't give you the... But who cares? It tunes perfectly and it is just amazing. I don't know what else to tell you about this. Um, it works. <laughs> so this sounds as good as my $1,800 Martin does plugged in. Easy. Um, if you would be caught dead playing this, who knows. But I'm sure they make the same guitar. It looks like kind of their festival series but without the uh, oval sound hole like they put on those. But those don't sound nearly as good as this. So if you can find any other model that looks like this without Paul's picture on it and I like it having Paul, I'm a kiss freak so um, which makes me a freak I guess um, but look at that preamp if you can find that on any of their other guitars that are like this and you want it for stage and you can put if you like Paul on there great I do um, but it is just flat cool you got red binding of course everywhere to match his lipstick. Uh, red fret markers, red everything. You got gold hardware, nice tuners. They're Grover copies. Um, Washburn usually uses real Grovers. I'm not sure what happened here. Um, they even give you the gold strap buttons. Okay. <laughs> uh, no other gold anywhere. Um, except for the fact that they, this one, anyway, which I just ordered on the on the bay, the eBay, and it plays phenomenally. No setup needed at all. Um, acoustically, it's thin. Which is what you would expect out of a guitar that's not that thick. Okay, so it's um, an adequate uh, sit around guitar, um, but at the price of these things, which was only uh, I think 300 ish or something, if I can remember correctly, I've had it for a while now, but uh, it might have been three something um, without the case. Um, I think actually this one came with a gig bag with Paul's picture on it. Yes, it did. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, more of Paul's picture. Um, Jeans, the only one with a little more vanity. Um, <laughs> But I cannot stress to you how great the preamp is. The guitar plays great, and it sounds like a $2,000 guitar when you plug it up. It honestly sounds that good. I would easily put it up against the Martin in a blind taste test. <laughs> um, so it plays great, sounds okay, uh, but hooked up it sounds like um, you just paid another 1500 bucks on top of what you actually paid. Okay, 
So once again, if you can find this guitar, uh, which people do all the time, they make the same guitar, but they just uh, paint it different. So I'm sure they've got this with just a nice quilt looking top or a solid color. Um, but look for that preamp, whatever the preamp is called. Um, it's not giving me anything on here that's going to tell me what it is. Um, EQ and tuner system WT-92. Once again, WT-92. Um, so look for that. It is a diamond in the rough there. Um, there you go. You can read it. Um, so if you can find that, that is something to really get. And so if you're looking for a great stage guitar that is going to be hooked up all the time, man, you cannot beat this for the price. Again, um, the finish is probably up to you. Like I said, I'm sure they made it with other finishes. But uh, there's your secret, kids. Uh, it's magic. So there you go, the Paul Stanley PS um, 11E, whatever all that stands for, other than the PS for Paul Stanley, but just an amazing live guitar for stage. It's just uh, a gazillion dollar sounding guitar. So 10 and a half thumbs up. I'd give it an 11, but it's just a little thin to quite do it by itself. So there you go.